Hey everyone, I'm Laura at W Hunting Supply and I'm here to talk to you today about our heavy duty stainless steel tough skin replacement antennas for your Garmin tracking collars. We cut these for both our full size collars at 22 inches and we also offer them for the mini collars at 18 inches. We worked with a cable company to find what we believe is the perfect most ideal cable to use for these antennas. We've tested many different styles. We came up with this one. Uh, number one, it's a marine grade stainless steel. Marine grade, which prevents corrosion and rusting of your collars. The second thing is the weaving of this stainless steel. We worked with them specifically to find a good weave to have two main properties. One, to keep the antenna up in the air, which betters your tracking distance on your dog, and also one that bends and flex while your dog's running through the woods to help prevent snapping and breaking of your tough skin antenna. It's also got this double vinyl coating and that prevents cuts and any type of scarring to happen to the outside. It's got a soft cap on the end right there. And we also have heavy eyelet crimps and that'll help uh, keep your antenna onto your dog collar. So, I've covered the main anatomy of our tough skin antennas. Um, at this point, I know it can be really intimidating to transfer or change out these antennas on your tracking collar. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you here today how to go ahead and replace your antennas on your Garmin collars. It's very simple, easy to do, and I'm a great person to show you because there's no power tools required. We actually ask that you do not use power tools for this job. So if you don't have some really good screwdrivers at home, guys, now's the excuse to go out and get yourself some really awesome screwdrivers. We're gonna need a number one and a number two Phillips head screwdriver, and we'll get started on changing one out. So we actually recommend that you're gonna go ahead and have your Phillips screwdrivers. Uh, first thing we're gonna do though, is we're going to take out the antenna by slipping it through your antenna keeper. And that should be pretty easy to do. You might have to wiggle it and finagle it a little bit, but eventually you'll get it to come off. Then we just set your antenna keeper to the side. And then you're gonna see on the back here, we're gonna have what we call our perimeter screws, which run along the outside. And then you're also gonna have this interior screw. And I want you to pay attention because your perimeter screws are longer than your inside screw. So you need to make sure they go back in the right spot. So we'll start with unscrewing these. All right, that's the last one. And then we call this the L plate right here. You can see that it's in the shape of an L. And then sometimes you might wanna just take a flathead one and just kinda of help pop that open just a little bit. That might also help. And then there you can see the exposure of where your tough skin antenna or your old antenna is on there. So then you're gonna grab your number two Phillips head screwdriver. And you're just gonna go ahead and unscrew that. And I'll go in our bucket, that comes off. And as you've noticed, as I'm doing all this and I'm taking this collar apart, I can see a lot of dirt and buildup has built up along my collar. This is an excellent time to go ahead and clean out your collars. I don't want you to soak them, but I would recommend having a cup of soap and water, a little brush, an old toothbrush would work great. And just to go along in there and not be afraid to kind of clean up that area and get your collar cleaned up. So once you've kind of cleaned that up and made sure that connection's also as well a little bit cleaned up. So we're gonna finish drying this up. And obviously at home, I would like you to maybe clean it up a little bit better than that. You might want to, but I'm gonna go a little bit quick here for video purposes. So when we're getting ready to reattach this, it's really tempting to wanna to just go ahead and start putting it right on, but you're gonna to wanna to run it through your antenna keeper first. So we're gonna put your antenna keeper back on and for our tough skin antennas, it's a lot easier to go eyelet side first through the antenna keeper. And we're just gonna finesse our way through that. It actually goes through quite easily, as you can see. And then we're gonna line it up again um, with the crimping side down. And then we're gonna grab our screw and re-screw that back in. And it's really important while you are re-screwing these screws back in, um, I would encourage you to make them snug, but do not over-tighten your screws. Again, they're soft screws and they are really easy to break. 
um, or to strip. So snug, you don't need to take power tools to these. All right, and then we're just gonna reattach our L bracket, just like so, our L plate. Again, short screw is our inside screw and your long screws are your perimeter screws. These tough skin antennas can absolutely be used on the DC-30s and the DC-40 Garmin tracking collars. Um, we do recommend that when you go to remove these two screws on the back plate, you use a really good number one Phillips screwdriver. These screws are also extremely easy to strip. So um, that would be our word to the wise on that one, but you, they will transfer over to those as well. Um, we do offer a two year warranty on our tough skin antennas. So if you have any problems, please give us a call here at the shop. And uh, these are also offered on at tier pricing. So the more you buy, the cheaper they get. And any more questions or comments, give us a call at 1-855-384-8687. And thank you very much.